So I've been wanting to do this for a while now because I know not everyone can afford to get all these nice VST tools. And to be honest, it's not necessary to be spending on massive amounts of VSTs because there's a bunch of great tools at your disposal and they're all for free. And really it's all about what you do with the tools anyways. By the way, my name is Stranger, and if you want to improve your music production and sound design, especially with dance music and drum and bass, then this channel is for you. So today I'm going to present you my top 10 free VST tools and I'm going to attempt to create a track with them. Just note that there's a lot more free tools out there so I might make this a regular series where I present to you my favorite picks of free VST tools. Comment down below and let me know what are your favorite free VST tools. By the way, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on this later. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I'm providing additional exclusive content. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, the first free VST is actually a set of VSTs by Tokyo Dawn Records. And they have a set of compressors and EQs, which are very useful. TDR Molotov is an awesome compressor with some saturation effects. It has a really nice warm sound. I like using this to glue things together. Then they have TDR Nova, which is a dynamic equalizer, very useful in the mix. TDR Kotelnikov is a very clean compressor, very useful for mixing and mastering. And then they have this TDR Voss Slick EQ, which is a mixing and mastering EQ, very useful tool. So, so all four of these tools are very useful for the mix or even mastering, and I recommend you guys grab them down in the links below. So here I got TDR Molotov on my drum bus here. Here's the drums dry. I'm gonna bring the threshold down. And then we can just increase the makeup. Notice how the drum sounds a lot more glued together. All right, number two is Slate Audio's Fresh Air. Now they call this a dynamic high frequency processor. What it does is it adds excitement on your high end and makes it sound a little more crispy. So this is a nice enhancer for your mix. So again, I have it on my drum bus and now there's a mid and high air. So let's watch it in action. So notice how it brightens up the mix a little more. Number three is Spitfire Audio's Labs, which is a multi-sound instrument. Essentially, it's kind of like contact where you can load different libraries of sounds. It's amazing because all these libraries are for free. So they have a, an assortment of different sounds from bass guitar, harp, percussion, orchestral sounds, textural pads, piano pads, mandolin, so many. And these are all for free. So if you're in need of instrumental sounds, this is the place to go, Spitfire Labs. Here's some from their textural pads bank. So if you're in need of some really deep atmospherics, this is a great instrument for it. And I just have this little clip here. Number four is Ample Guitar M2 Lite. Now I've been using their instruments for a couple years now, but if you need an acoustic guitar, this is a great instrument. What I love about their instruments is it sounds super realistic. So you can either play in picking mode, which is playing individual notes like this. 
One of the other features I love about Amp Guitar is the strummer mode, which allows you to strum chords on the guitar, which is very helpful when you want to have that full guitar sound. And what's awesome is you can choose from a variety of different patterns. For example, there's a bunch of these reggae patterns, which is pretty awesome. Notice how realistic it sounds. Also, they have an effects section, which is very helpful to add a bit of a guitar effects to your sound. Number five is Rave Generator 2, and I got this from you guys. Someone in the audience recommended that I should check this out during my Breakbeat Hardcore video, and actually this is a really awesome tool because it has pretty much every classic techno rave staff from back in the 90s all in one instrument. And all you need to do is go into the browser and pull it in and you have access to it. Who remembers that stuff? And you can even combine stabs together. So really awesome tool and gives you access to pretty much all the classic stabs. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're a beginner to music production, then make sure you take my Ableton Essential Exercises on Skillshare. I have a total of four classes aimed at helping you learn the basics of drum programming and writing bass lines. By taking my classes, you'll have all the basics down to start creating beats from dubstep, halftime, jungle, and drum and bass. For those that don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you expand on your creativity and passions. They have a wide range of classes from graphic design, illustration, marketing, video editing, and of course, music production all skills which are necessary for an artist today. The benefit to Skillshare is that there are no ads and it costs less than $10 a month on an annual membership. The first thousand people that use my link in my description will receive a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. So check it out and I'll see you at my class on Skillshare. Number six is Valhalla's Supermassive, which is an echo and reverb effect all in one. Now, lots of people have talked about this plugin and it, it is worth talking about because it sounds really fresh and lush and amazing that it's for free. So if you need delay or reverb, this is a great place to go. Now, if you want to use reverb, just click on the preset and choose the correct preset. This has to be the best free reverb VST out there. So make sure you guys grab it. Lucky number seven is vital. Now this synth pretty much needs no explanation. There has been so much content around this VST for the last five, six months. But the main reason why everyone's been talking about it is that one, there is a free version, which gives you almost the entire access to the synth aside from some presets and banks. And this is a super versatile synth. It works very similarly to Serum. So if you can't afford to get Serum, this is a great place to go because it's for free and the results you can get from this synth are pretty astronomical. So here's a preset I made. And I'm just gonna add some drive. By the way, you can download the vital presets down in the link below. So you can get those nitty gritty bases. Otherwise I call it the gnarly bases. 
all from this synth and I encourage you guys to grab the synth and start experimenting with it. Now, if you need additional saturation in the mix, then my number eight tool, SoftTube's saturation knob is a great one. This is one of my favorites. You can get some really gritty, warm, analog sounding saturation with this plugin. So I'm gonna use it on my vital bass patch and just simply increase the knob. Notice how gritty that sounds and there's a couple of saturation types. Oh, that one sounds nice. It keeps the low sounding deep. Nasty. Number nine is Yulian loudness meter. Now this is more used for mastering, but I thought I'd just pull it in here anyways. This is a really nice tool that you guys recommended to me during one of my mastering videos and I'm quite impressed by the user interface. It gives you all the details you need to determine the loudness of your track. So this is very handy if you're mastering and you wanna make sure the loudness matches some of the standard tunes out there in the industry. Just pop this in and see if it matches. Now what you want to look for is the integrated luff level. So that's the average loudness of your track. Now this track isn't mastered, so it is a bit quieter. If your ma track is mastered, usually drum and bass is around negative seven, negative six luffs, sometimes even negative five, depending on your mastering engineer, but every track is different, but very good tool. And if you're mastering or doing a quick master, this is a very useful tool. My number 10 tool is actually a free preset for a reactor. So out to everyone that has reactor, this is a great free preset if you need analog tape saturation in the mix. So how I like to use this, I like to use this on musical instruments such as pianos or even a group of melodic sounds to add some warmth to the mix. You can even add like fluttering into the mix. So if you guys love uh, RC20 and you can't afford to get the full version, then this VHS tape effect for reactor is a great substitute because it pretty much gives you all those options to warm up and kind of degrade your sound for those nice tape effects for your music. So I'm gonna use it on my music bus here and add some drive and saturation. <laughs> What I love about this tool is the warp and wear features, even the crackle and hum, which almost makes it sound like it's an old tape, kind of like even old vinyl. So if you want that sound, this is a great tool for that. <laughs> All right, now that we've gone through my top 10 free VST tools, let's hear the track in action, all made with free tools.
All right, I think we have a jump up banger. Who's ready to hit the rave? All right, so those are my top 10 free VST tools to help you along in your music journey. I encourage you guys to download them all. I have them all listed down in the links below. And remember, comment down below and let us know what other free VST tools we should know about. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to support me, you can grab a number of my products, including some free sound packs down in the links below.